Oh, that's probably really bad to say. There are books out there that are really bad and I don't like them and I don't want to read them and I don't think other people should read them either. Hello, I am Jessie, the sleepy koala, because I am Australian and perpetually tired. Today, I wanted to talk about how I rate my books, particularly on Goodreads. Well, I guess I don't rate them anywhere else, so it's gotta be on Goodreads. I have only really started using Goodreads this year and have tried to figure out the best rating scale that works for me. I don't know if it matches everyone else's rating scale because everyone probably uses a five star scale differently and they only give you one to use. So that's not very helpful. But I thought it would be fun to go through how I rate things and how I look at books in terms of what I would increase their star for what I would decrease their star for. My rating scale is largely based around whether I think something needed to go through an extra draft or needs more editing or something really needs to be changed in the story because there's problems with it. There is an element of did I like this book? Uh, what do I think of it? But there are books that I have loved that I will lower the scale for because I think they needed another pass. They needed someone to look through them and say hey guys this is maybe this bit maybe maybe let's change it a bit because there's, there's some things wrong with it. Or if there are plot holes or inconsistencies, things like that. Things that could have been picked up on in the creation process but made it into the final product. And that is how I rate my books. Like, do I think they needed that extra draft or don't they? So first up we've got five star. Five star does not mean it needs to be the most amazing book ever. I don't think that necessary for something to be worth five stars. To me five stars means that the book has set up things and then delivered them well and they haven't left any problems. If there's no obvious issues in the book that jump out and irritate me while I am reading, I will give something five stars even if it's not the most incredible work that could ever exist and other people think it's it's shit or anything like that. That That's just what five stars means to me. The author has set out to do something, they have done it well and there is no major issues with it. Next we have four stars. Four stars is where a lot of the books that I read probably end up because they weren't quite five stars. There was something in it that I think could have been better or could have been improved on. Sometimes this can be weird pacing. It can be weird putting the story together. I read something like that recently and it was like a very badly made jigsaw piece and was so close clunky and awkward and that definitely would have like lowered it to four stars if this was a five star book which it definitely wasn't and I wanted to give it a higher rating. If it has plot holes then that will lower it down depending on how bad the plot holes it could go down a little bit but mostly I think that four stars is a book that is very good with maybe one or two minor-ish problems that could be fixed and if that was done it would be brilliant in my mind it would go up to five stars there'd be no problems with it. Great. Then we have three stars. Three stars is the rating I would give something if I thought it had the potential to be good but definitely needed more reviews. It needed more editing and generally I still like a three star book but there's major problems with it that could have been fixed but they weren't. If it could go through more reviewing process then it probably would bump it up and make it better. It has the potential to be better than what it is and what it currently is is not the best. That's generally what I put as three stars. Books that end up there I might read again but I also might not because it's they're generally fine. They are the fine books that could have been better. There, there is not much there to drag me back in. Ooh, now we're getting into the lower end of the spicy content. So two stars. Two stars. What is two stars? Well it's like three stars except I don't think I like the book. I think there's major problems with it and it really needs need some more eyes and feedback before it was released but maybe it could be redeemed but I didn't like it. But potentially there is the potential to increase those stars to make it go soaring further up if it had only gone through some better review processes and normally there's multiple big issues in a book that I would give two stars. Uh, some of them are generally problematic issues that really really should have been picked up on 
on by somebody, but it could be redeemable, maybe. Finally, down into the one star. One stars, I think are terrible. <laughs> They are books that I do not like. They are books that I think are not redeemable and th there is nothing about it that could be fixed to make it better without rewriting the whole book. They are books that I think need to be rewritten to be good at all. That's what I think a one star book is. Like It's books that are so bad that you wonder why they exist basically. <laughs> Oh, that's probably really bad to say. Oh, but this, oh, there are books out there that are really bad and I don't like them and I don't want to read them and I don't think other people should read them either. But there are some books like that and they get one star. It's one star from me. I haven't actually had that many one stars, I don't think. How many, how many one stars have I had? <laughs> oh, yeah. I actually, I created a Goodreads shelf that's just never read again so I can remind myself to never read those books again just in case I do forget. There's currently three things on there. How do I just view all the books? I actually have to go get my laptop because I can't figure out Goodreads is good Goodreads this Goodreads app to figure out what stars I actually put on things because it's just giving me the average stars or the stars by other people and that is not what I want at all. That That is not how I wish this to be. So gotta get my computer. So I have actually only given three books a zero. At least two of them are on my never read again shelf and I actually finished those and one of them is on my DNF shelf because I noped out of that really fucking quickly. That book had some issues. Can't believe it was so difficult to to find what I wanted on the, on the Goodreads app. Why, why is that so hard? Oh, anyway, I found it on my computer. That is my Goodreads scale and how I rate books. And it is partially whether I like them, but also partially whether I think they should have gone publishing. <laughs> and a lot of the books I read, I, I would say generally like a three or four, like there's a couple of fives, but a lot of things are just all that I want to give them a five, but I just, I can't. There's this one thing in it that just makes it not great. It just doesn't have that pizzazz and doesn't have the extra things that you need to give something five stars. Would have had a little bit that's a five star rating right there. Thank you for joining me, everyone. I hope this video was not incredibly boring. Please comment below and tell me how you rate things. I'm really interested to see how different people approach the one to five star type rating scale. That was said really well. I, I did that so well. I speak so well, apparently. But yes, please tell me below what you think and whether yours is similar to mine, it's different to mine, how often do you give five stars, how often do you give one star, what would a book have to do or be like for a one star from you? That, that is the interesting question. That shows what people do and don't like. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell and then I will see you next time.